Yeah, well, Didmas Baraza has uh, tried to inform the Genzis that tomorrow if they try to occupy JKI, they will find themselves in hospitals or morgues. So, I, this is the arrogance that we are talking about, uh, the leadership, the current leadership. It is very unfortunate. So, kindly watch this clip and comment below. I have decided to make this address to our young people of our nation. Tomorrow morning, you have the powers to choose what you will do from among two important things. One is that you may choose to stay at home, go about your business. The consequence of it will be that you will live to actualize or realize your dreams. Maybe get a good job in the future so that you can be able to assist your parents and your siblings. The second choice that you can choose to choose from is to decide to attempt to occupy JKIA or any other restricted places as communicated by the police. The consequence of uh, the latter is that uh, at least I can guarantee you by end of day you will occupy one of the government buildings. You can occupy police cells, you can find yourself in a hospital, or you find yourself lying in a mortuary. Or maybe in one instance, you can be in the police cells, later on the hospital, and later on the mortuary. The choice belongs to you. Choices have consequences. There is nothing that I can do to influence your decision. The power is in your hand. You decide where you will want to be at the end of the day tomorrow evening. As you are de facto leader, I have done my part. I have a civic duty as a young leader of our country, as a de facto leader of the GNC and millennials to advise my members accordingly. So even before you sleep, have a moment and listen to this message. Thank you. God bless you. And good night. So my take on this video is that uh, I feel that we have lost it as a country because uh, this guy is the same person in 2022 he shot and killed someone in the campaign in Kimelele and he has never been brought to book he has never been arrested now he's saying that uh, all the people who will go in the airport they will be found themselves either dead so this kind of threats are not good this is the same guy who bought a chopper very recently and he doesn't have the same salary that can enable him to purchase this chopper you know their salary is under 1 million shillings and so the chopper is for 121 million how did he purchase this chopper these are the beneficiaries of corruption and um, they are showing us in our face that we are very useless people kenyans are very useless that's what they mean which is not the best way to go as a country if you are threatening peaceful protesters who doesn't have guns they have nothing in their hands and you are telling them that um, you are going to kill all of them to eliminate them to send them to their graves it, this is the kind of arrogance that uh, we must condone and uh, this this MPs all of them should be recalled I mean, Ruto should live with his old MPs. Everyone should go home and then we have a fresh election. We do not have a country. If we leave it the way it is now, I believe it's going to be very, 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 very bad. So, guys, uh, I don't know. That's my take. I don't know what you think. You can show me in the comments below if you agree with whatever Dilmas is trying to threaten people with. You let me know in the comments below. 
if you feel that uh, the guy is saying bad you can also advise him in the comments below because maybe he will watch this video so the fight is on and uh, i believe these people are very afraid now they are very united they are very united all odm all uda all these people are now united against the protests if you check very well you will see and so we need to stay vigilant and make sure that they go home this is better we should not have a country to run than to have this kind of arrogant leaders who are parading themselves as the messiahs when they, on sundays they go to church they try to lure our people by lying to them we are not going to allow this kind of uh, scenario to continue in this country we are here <clears throat> and I, we declare that we are waking up we do not need leaders the likes of didmas baraza who kill people and the killing is their adventure that's what i think they feel very happy when they do it which is not correct it's not good so just let us know what is going on uh, and tomorrow occupy everywhere occupy the airport occupy everywhere that's what we need to see we need to rescue this country from the mantle from the yoke of corruption from the yoke of arrogance that these people are exhibiting okay so guys uh, in case you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe just click the subscribe button before you leave and uh, hit the notification bell and thank you so much